name is Rianne and welcome back to my channel! This time of year is so exciting because it's not just December. It's the time of December when people start having Christmas parties and holiday parties and all these kinds of events and get-togethers where everyone dresses to the nines. And so your face has to keep up with the 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 look of the night right and holiday makeup is the perfect excuse to go all out and so for this tutorial i will show you guys how to do my favorite kind of holiday makeup which is kind of warm like warmer toned i usually go for cool normally because that is the makeup of my body i am a cool toned kind of girl but I like to mix it up and be a little warmer a little glowier a little brighter during Christmas and you get to pair it with a red lip like startle everyone and shooken them with your red lip so without any further ado let's get into this also forgive my hair because um my hair is quite a situation today it is not something you want to trifle with. I'm assuming that this is what a morning after look looks like because <sighs> my eye bags and the look of my face is totally my fault because I fell asleep last night without removing my makeup so I don't feel as fresh or look as fresh as I should in the morning but that's that's totally on me so ladies and gents please take off your makeup before you go to sleep don't be lazy like me lucky is to watching me take the video <sighs> that's a morning and I'm allergic to mornings but we're going to do this because I want to look my best today and I also want to practice my holiday makeup and I want to share with you guys my holiday look. I've already washed my face, I've moisturized, I've done all the things that you're supposed to do before putting your makeup on and now I'm going to put this, my trusty Lancome Paint Miracle in the shade Bisque 2C310, 2C means co cool. If you have a W, that means warm, and means natural, I believe. This is what I usually use for like um, grand occasions. Oh wait, the first thing you're supposed to do is to tie your hair and get it away from your face. And then blow your nose again if you have the sniffles and if you're allergic to mornings like me. We go in with the foundation. I put quite a lot during these things because you want it to uh, stay. I'm gonna use a mirror now because it's too far and my eyes are not clear enough for this. Okay, mirror and this uh, dense brush paddle brush kind of thing. It is not clean, so you don't wanna look at that. Just blend it out. You wanna take some time with your foundation because this is the base. And for most ha um, Christmas parties or Christmas days, your makeup look in the morning or for the first Christmas um, event, would be your look for the rest of the day, right? So let's just make sure that our base is solid. I'm starting to think that this shade might be a little too dark for me. Maybe I haven't been getting enough sun because when I got this shade, I was in university and I was always out in the sun. But now, I don't know, it feels a bit dark, but it's fine. Get me that healthy glow. Okay, I found some dry skin up here, so I'm going to get some medicine. Hold up. This thing is a mixture of petroleum jelly, clobetasol, and some kind of moisturizer that my dermatologist prescribed to me because I have asthma of the skin that comes up randomly. So I just put it on the parts that I get asthma of the skin and it goes away like magic. I did not expect that to happen. I did not expect to find that. So while I'm letting that settle, that means I have to do the rest of my face before my eyes. And for that, I'm a zoom in. All right, so now that you can see my face better, I might have to like lean in a bit because this, this angle is not working for me right now. 
So I'm going in with my Sephora bronzer in Los Cabos. You guys have to forgive my nails. I swear I'll fix them soon. I'm just gonna dust this along the sides of my cheeks. So this is important because you're gonna be taking lots of pictures, you know? During these family events, friend events, gatherings, get together stuff. If there are nice lights in the area and y'all be taking pictures, you want your face to um, be defined. And the way to do that is using bronzer and contouring your face lightly. You don't have to go full on contour unless you know that's what you want, then go ahead. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into my eyebrows. This will really need a mirror, so just see what I do. I mean, I'm no expert at eyebrows, so there's nothing really that I can say that will help you or anything, but it's important that you do your eyebrows because if the rest of your face is done and your eyebrows aren't, then we will have quite a problem you might not notice it until you see the pictures actually, so just be safe. So my eyebrows are done, um, they probably don't look even because the light here is a lot stronger, but they're even. I've checked and now we're gonna move on. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> wonderful. Mornings are just wonderful. This is why I choose to sleep through them. And now we're gonna move along to our eyes, which is my favorite part. You always have to start with a primer to keep your eyeshadow in place. You don't want that budging or moving or whatever throughout your day. Also, for holiday makeup, um, it's usually eye heavy to brighten the eyes, you know, make them sparkle and all that. So you want your color to pop. And the way to do that is to put primer on your lid so that you get more color payoff from your products. So once that's on, we can move on to the fun part. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you the products I've been using. For my eyebrows, I use the Maybelline Fashion Brow. So I used the Maybelline Fashion Brow. And for my eye primer, I used the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And for eyes, I'm now going into my trusty Naked 3 palette. You can't go wrong with this. I'm gonna go in first with Nooner. Yeah, Nooner is gonna be my, um, what do you call this? My crease shade. There we go. It's a darker crease shade than I would normally use, but since it's Christmas, we go all out. I guess I forgot to explain why I'm filming outside. Um, a good trick to know how dark or how light your makeup is, is to put your makeup on using natural light. So, um, white light, yellow light, uh, those are all good and stuff if you're going for a certain look. But I really prefer natural light because then you'll see the full effect of your makeup. Is it going the way you want it to? White light might be a little too harsh, so you might pack on more than you actually need. So natural light is definitely the way to go. Once you're done with your crease, then you can go on to your lid. I might go for a coppery shade today just because I want that golden glow for Christmas, you know? So I'm gonna get the brush that um, Urban Decay gave along with the palette and I'm just gonna pack that on there. Normally, for everyday looks, I usually go um, matte 
but for Christmas if you're not doing a sparkly look are you even doing a holiday look right and now that we have our lids we add dimension I'm not really sure what kind of dimension I want by the way a while ago I used trick for my lids and now I might go in I'm going in oh I'm going in with liar for the outer corners of my eyes and we're gonna see how that goes Having uneven eyelids is such a pain. Like, doing eyeshadow takes forever. But you know, gotta do with what you're given. All right, I am sorta kinda happy, but I kinda wanna make it a bit darker. I feel like it's not registering as well on the camera as it actually looks. If I move this, let's check it out. So you can kinda see it better here. But I'm gonna add more dimension because it's it looks too flat still for me. So let's put that back there. All right. I'm gonna go in with black heart, the last one here. Let's let's go dramatic. Let's let's get in there. Ooh. Do you see that? Ooh. Now the important thing is to stay patient with this because if you don't blend it out properly, patiently, then you're gonna get in trouble. So let's do this. So you want to go in light-handed. You don't want to be too heavy, else it might just be a messy blending job. Do you see how uneven my eyes are now? It's like unusually uneven. I'm actually quite... I'm quite concerned. That is not usually what my eyes look like, but I guess it's just a bad eye day. I don't know. We're gonna take Limit, which is the usual shade that I use for my crease, just to blend everything in. And make sure that it's all on the crease. Yep, just blend out the crease. That's the part that you want seamless because it looks gorgeous if it all just comes together on the crease. We're gonna continue on with the eyes with this eyeliner, this liquid eyeliner. For Christmas parties, most people want to go in with a wing. I want to go in with a wing. Will I attempt it? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Hello, Pa. Yes. <laughs> My family just got a Christmas card. I love Christmas cards. That should be like a thing again. I will give that to my mom. She might want to open that by herself. I think it's safe to tell you guys right now that I have no idea what I'm doing. So, this wing. Mm. All right, so we're gonna go for teeny tiny wings because I'm much too afraid to go further than that. Okay, okay, okay. I am gonna stick to this. Like, I don't, I don't want to touch it anymore. That. That is probably as good as it's gonna get. Yay! Success! I didn't destroy it or anything, did I? I think it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. And now move on to mascara. This is Hypnose Drama Lancome. Again, I only use this for when I need dramatic eyelashes, which is during a Christmas party. I realized just now that I forgot to conceal. This is why I can't be a beauty vlogger. <laughs> like, I try so hard, but I'm just messing everything up. Okay, I see my eye bags. Do you see them? Aren't they gorgeous? Let's conceal them. <laughs> conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Well, now they know. Let it go, let it go. I'm one with the wind and sky. Instead of having that pinky glow, during the holidays, I still want that coppery warm feel. So I'm just gonna whisk this over here. There's like a coppery golden 
blush kind of thing and also if it has glitters then that's better because you know christmas is when you bring out all the glitters and put them all on your face it's time for the main event which is the red lip so i'm using a ColourPop lippy sticks in the shade weekender and this is my favorite red lipstick right now i dare say it's better than what is that MAC lipstick that everyone says is a good red ruby woo? For precise application, always, always use a brush. And the first thing that you want to do, I'm going to move forward so you can see, is to line your lips. So... To make it extra pretty, um, you clean up the sides of your lips with a concealer so just trace the sides to give your lips more shape and definition and then you just blend it out uh, it feels so good to stretch <laughs> so that's all that I have for you guys today I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please give me a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below I'd love to know what your favorite holiday looks are like what products do you use? Share them with me because I'd love to learn new things. And please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I release them every Tuesday with some surprises in between sometimes. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!